Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Huh. We've got another war season starting. This is the first war of the season, and if you don't know, they have changed the map, some of the nodes. Some of the changes are good, some of them, well. But anyway, this is season 44. And this is the first war. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Wakandianos. Hope I said that right. Junior Weed Man is the leader. Okay. There it is. Season 44 kickoff. So they've only banned uh, Ant-Man Future. And Kingpin and Ghost are globally banned. All right, and uh, Nimrod and infamous Iron Man are ban immune. All right. All right, let's take a look at this new map. And we'll formulate our plan. I still am taking path three. And we've had a little bit of practice on off season, but you know. So this path, the nodes seem to be the same. Okay. So, for the most part, I can bring in the same type of folks as long as I don't see a, a global defender. If there's a global defender, I got somebody else. So, here we go. I'll probably go ahead and bring, um, I can bring Gallon for both of these. All right. So you remember how we used to have a shared fight and we were blocked in case, you know, if somebody else uh, was assigned to take that fight, everybody had to wait. That's gone. Okay. So I can do these fights right here. And then I'll go down to this node here and I can take whichever one I want, but I'll be going over here. And as you can see, there are no global defenders. So that means I just bring in somebody that can do these fights. And Claire can do this fight against Ant-Man Future. Um... I don't remember, but I don't think Overseer gets a uh, armor up, which means I don't have to worry about the shock. I can bring Hulkling, but I don't have to. I can use Claire for both of these fights. So Gallon, Claire, and we need to discuss these because... I've had a rough time trying to take some of these. And, ooh, this guy right here. So what happened one time, uh, because it's off season, we weren't really talking. We just were going in. Uh, I came over here and fought this guy here. This, let me see, was it this one? Or was it this one? No. I think it was this one. And I got toe up. I did not have a good um, option. But this doesn't look like the node. So that might be okay. It might have been this node here. Yeah. This one. I was going to take this mini and I brought in um a, a global attacker for this and someone else took that node after we were already in so i'm like okay who can i take and i went and there was a symbiote supreme um a sorceress wait no spider-man supreme on this node and let me tell you i had to learn how to fight him on this node it was not easy 
it was a pain. You see this indefinite protection when he's knocked down, it goes for a 15 second cooldown. And then you have to deal with his other. Oh, it was not fun at all. OK, but that's because I didn't have a, a good counter. So anyway. We've got. Um, we've got Adam Warlock here. And I would bring in, like, say, Silk. But this one eye open is a pain. All right. So you don't want to bring someone, if you're taking this node, you don't want to bring in somebody that stuns them. You want to kind of play it stun immune. Okay. And that makes it a little bit more challenging because you've got to knock them down. Now, that's with a heavy attack or with a special. One of the two. Okay. So that's an annoying node for me. Now, this node here, these used to be the shared uh, fights, by the way. They're all right here. And these nodes, as you can see, you can't take all three. Uh, I used to be able to do that. Um, and a couple of wars, I did. I was like, okay, I'm taking all the minis on the left, so you guys are free to do some other stuff. Can't do that anymore. Each of us has to take one of these or one of these or one of these. Um, and I'll have to look and see how they're going to do this. So... I know I'm bringing Gal uh, Gallon for these fights here. And I'll bring Claire for this. And then I will bring someone for one of the minis. But I have to look and see who's taking what and who I have um, for them. Like, see, this guy here seems to be great for um, Hulk. If I were to take this guy, I would bring Hulk in for him. And I think Diablo, I don't know if Diablo, let's take a look really quick here. Because the global is AW Decay. So these are all of the AW Decay attackers and defenders, real, but um, AW attackers. So I can bring any of these and I don't have to worry about that. So Hulk, definitely an option. Um, yeah, I. I I would definitely bring, could also bring in Void, but I don't have Void uh, ranked up. So for me, it would be Hulk. He would be the best option for me against that one. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that is going to do it. Let's uh, go back there really quick. Oh, whoops. Ooh, that would have been ugly. Um, but that is going to do it. Just showing you guys the, uh, rest of the map here. And that's the, uh, final boss island. So we have to choose, you know, everybody has their path. It's still a sign, but these bosses here, anybody can take. I believe. Yeah. See, so from here, I can go to any of these bosses, any of those bosses, or any of these bosses. Okay? So I can take any of those that I want. All right. That is going to do it, guys. Um, we will be back with the fighting. All right. So I'm going in with Hulk. Claire and Gallon. That's right, Hulk coming to war. This is the first time I believe I have brought Hulk to war. Now, this is the first war 
of the season. This is my first fight of the season. So I want to make sure I do good. Now, Gallon, not a tough fight. I know how to fight him. I'm going to be boosted. You can see I put on a nice big boy, 30% boost. Got a few of them. May, not, may as well use them. And I'm going to put on, uh, I think, an attack boost as well. I'm thinking about it because you see I have some in my overflow. Um, but I'm going to put on a, a big boy, uh, I think a big boy attack boost. I might I might have decided to go, yeah, uh, just with the 15% uh, because I have two of those. And I'm going to fight Gallon with Gallon. And we're going to see who the real Gallon is. So you saw the nodes, not too big of a deal. All right, so parry, medium light, medium. Just build up, you know, what you normally do with Gallon. Okay, medium light, medium. All right, he fired that off. All right, cool, cool, no problem. Parry, medium light, medium. And we're gonna tear him up in a minute, right? Ooh, we got our two bars of power. Okay, ooh, he's getting close, but that's fine. Now we just need to parry, heavy. Ooh, what do you know? Look at that, right into an unblockable special. Isn't that fun? To knock the dust off. Wasn't that fun? I want y'all to go back, cause I did, and look at what happened. So I've had an issue with Gallon especially, but with others where I'll hit the heavy attack and there is a slight delay. That is what happened there. I parried, hit my heavy, there was a slight delay, and then he resisted and parried at the same time, and then hit me with a combo and then a special before I could do anything. Fun, right? I went on my line chat and I said, I hate Alliance War because stuff like that can happen. Now, I want y'all to watch this one, okay? Because I'm mad now, all right? I'm not happy, all right? It's looking like it's doing the same thing as before, right? Medium, light, medium, okay? Boom, this time I'm not even playing with him, okay? Not gonna play. Now, I should have built up a little bit more, and that would have been a kill right there. But no, because I'm not playing done i didn't want any more shenanigans to happen now that's how easy it should have been in the first place my heavy attack went off like it should and we ripped him up i tell you i was so upset about that i was too salty but i was like that's fine this is the first war knock the dust off maybe i was just tired I wasn't tired, okay? Uh, maybe I was just out of practice. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Y'all saw what happened. If, if the uh, parry and resist, if that heavy attack had gone off when it should have, I, that wouldn't have happened. Uh, one of my alliance mates was like, boy, that was really unlucky. Because <laughs> I, I posted the video up so they could see it. And look at this, almost like to get revenge. Now, I have to make sure that he has a nice maxed out. You know why? Boom, we needed that because, and I'm sure whoever put her here was thinking this. If the special one or two does not kill her, she regens all of it back up. So I had to make sure that I had enough of those planetary uh, charges to take her out. And because she had an armor up on that node, she was gallon food. All right, now, uh, I have changed my strategy since this uh, particular fight, 
But I'm like, all right, we've got a um, Ant-Man future here. Don't have to worry about the global. You know, Claire is usually my go-to because she's bleed immune. And I know Ant-Man gets a lot of armor ups. So I'm like, cool. She should be able to nullify those no problem. But this is Ant-Man Future. It don't work that way with Ant-Man Future. Look at what's happening. Look at what's happening. I saw already now. It was at this time that I knew I had messed up. Because look at what's happening when I nullify. Look at the armor ups that he has. Okay? And each one of those are giving him a chance to glance. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. All right? So I'm glancing up a storm, and it's not fun. And you can see, even though I'm taking blocked hits, it's taking a bit. We've got the power detonation. And boom, I was able to get him. But look at this. Now, I was in blood, curse of blood, right? Do you know why I didn't heal more than I did? If you look back, you'll see that all of those were glancing. So I wasn't doing damage enough to heal back. You heal based on your damage dealt. And because I'm glancing so much, I'm not able to heal back up. So Claire is really not a good option for this fight against him in particular. And during the off season, I tried uh, Terax. Terax wasn't a good option for this Ant-Man either. But I found one, don't worry. But as you can see here, he's just chipping away at me. Look at this, I'm down. Not much I could think to do. I was trying to maybe build up to a special three, but the power detonation was keeping me down. And I'm like, okay, I hate this war already. You know, yes, I'm trying to get used to these nodes and everything, but I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, are you kidding me? And I said, you know what? I don't care. I don't care no more. I'm just like, let's, let's just go in and uh, finish him off. You see, he's, he's down a little bit less than half. So I'm like, if I can do that again, cool. We can uh, get him down. But already, first war of the season, and I've already died twice. You already know I'm not happy, right? I do not like losing in the first place. But like this? And I was telling everybody, look here, this ain't my war. This is not my war. They know how I could fight, but um, even in the off season, I'm trying to get used to these nodes and everything and uh, figure out some good counters and that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's annoying, but growing pains, okay? Now, unlike that first fight where I just got clobbered, you know, a parry, resist, you know, and, and just took out like that. This one was just me not bringing in a proper counter. Claire is not a good counter for this node against Ant-Man Future, and I will never do it again. Okay. But for now, you know, all right, so he's at 52, and I'm thinking, all right, let me just go ahead and try to get this thing going, you know, build up and you see I tried to get to a special three and I couldn't I got that detonation real quick and I'm just like okay so I can't even get uh, my special three rotation off yeah it's just not a good uh, option for this fight and I really need to learn how to evade that better you see I'm trying to evade it so I'm not taking as much damage but look at all this glancing Look at all the glancing, man. Now he has buff immunity, but look. Glancing. I can't do damage. I can't heal up. Ah, oh, man. Y'all just don't know. This was so frustrating. And I'm just like, you know. I I, I, I just had to take this as a lesson learned. That's, a, that's all I could do. 
you know lesson learned now we are doing a little bit of damage you know and i don't like long fights in the best of times anyway but this is just a fight where he is just whittling me down you know i'm not able to do as much damage as i would like i can't heal up look at this I'm not able to heal and then i do that boom boom done three three deaths on the first war of the season and these are on my path this is not even i'm not even to the mini yet this is on my path okay and uh, you can see i'm pausing here y'all don't know i am steam is coming off of my head right now now one of the things that we are told we're not supposed to do, and I did it, is dive right back in. You know, when you clearly have a problem, we have backup. Uh, I wasn't the only one that did that, but I have to remember not to do that. But this was really, really ticking me off, you know? And I could have tried to use Gallon. I wasn't sure if that would work against this Ant-Man. Gallon, if I remember correctly, he's not bleed immune, right? So I was afraid that I would bleed out before I could actually even get to my special um, one, you know? So you see how I boosted that time, but the problem, even with a, a invulnerability boost, is that it's not gonna help against the indirect damage so if he keeps on if i keep on blocking it wouldn't help but we finished him off very expensive war hopefully the most expensive war of the season but we'll see um but like i said i did get better you guys will see in uh later videos um that i did learn better and i got better counters and that sort of thing all right, so this guy I'm not thinking is anything special. I know how to fight him. He doesn't get uh, armor ups, so I don't have to worry about the shock. So Claire is great for this. All right. Um, the only issue with him is that auto block, but it only uh, he only auto blocks the second attack. You know, so I could have attacked him right there. You know, like that. Um, well, he had the auto block off then, but I can attack him with his auto block up. I just have to hit him only one time and specials don't trigger it. Like right there. You saw how I did that. Um, I can just wait that out like I did right there, but you saw how I, I hit him just one time. Don't try to do a combo. Okay. And there we go. And we're going to go right into a special two. Ba da 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 and done. Now, those fights went the way I expected them to go. But we're not done yet. We have another fight coming up, a mini. So I already had enough trouble on my path and we hadn't even got to the mini. All right, so I want you to look. I'm taking a different block. See, I'm going up against that man thing. Instead of going on the other island to the left, I can take any of those minis. I like that. That is a change that I actually like. All right, so you can see here, we got to deal with the global. But Hulk is a global. Um, well, um, he benefits from the attacker tactics. Okay. Now, this should be a straightforward fight, right? So just watch how this goes. So I'm fighting, and I'm like, yeah, this should be pretty easy. You know, I got the good counter for him. You know, Hulk, Hulk is building up. You know, I don't care about that regen. It is nasty. But when Hulk goes on his rampage... I'm confident Hulk is getting angry. 
Yep, yep. Okay, back off. Let him build. Um, toss that. Okay. Here we go. Hulk getting angry. He getting angry. Boom. Now, what I want to do is bait that out. Come on. Bait it out. There we go. And now I want to fire that special three off. And now is the time to have fun. So, oh yeah. Get him, Hulk. Yeah, we working him. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Mm. Oh yeah, we got this boy. Come on, get that out. Yeah, he's going down. Wait, what? Unstoppable, huh? Wait, why'd he get unstoppable? Oh man, what was all that? Okay, let's go back in. We got this. Yeah, we got him. Unstoppable again. What? Why is he going unstoppable? Stop it, stop it. Come on. Oh, no. He went unstoppable. So he was blocking. So I didn't get as much as I wanted. Oh, and I'm sitting here like, what the heck is going on? Now he's got the two stacks of um, regen, but he should have been dead. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Is this going to be another death? Oh, my goodness. So I'm just like, okay. There he is, unstoppable again. What in the world? Look, unstoppable again. He's smacking me up. What is going on here? I'm in the corner now. Oh, man. Hulk getting angry. He getting angry. Oh, man, this ain't cool. This is not cool. All right, let's keep going in. We ain't giving up. We ain't giving up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh-huh. Let's try this again. Ho, ho, ho. He, ho. Show him what you got, Hulk. Mmm. Okay, okay. But we coming. We coming. Oh, oh, that's what you got. Okay, but we going in anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, unstoppable. But I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to do that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mmm. That's what I wanted to do. Now you're stunned. Get your booty out of here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hulk smash. Yeah. I'm going to remember you for next time. Anyway, that was the last fight that I had. I was not going down. Hulk was not going down. Okay? Anyway, we'll be back in a little bit, and you're going to find out how this war ended. We're back, and can you believe it? We won this war, despite my horrible start. But I'm happy because the Wakandinos, Dianos, they had a worse time than we did. Look at this, guys. They had a worse time than we did on this first war. Oh my goodness. I was, I was like, I'm happy we won that war despite my deaths, because I already was feeling bad, okay? Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.